Thank you. I've got two microphones, so I'll be moving things around a little bit. And I'll try to talk over the noise of the show, because it's always a noisy show. When we finish, if you want to have more information or share, we don't have a booth this year. So we'll be up here at the end of the show, and then after that, outside for an hour or so. Then we'll be gone, just so you know. OK, first of all, um, I don't know how many of you seen the new book, The Inside Track, that I wrote. It's very, yeah, I talked about it with uh, George Norrie the other night on Coast to Coast. This is an introduction to why we have quantum biology in, in the forefront. And it's a story, it's called The Inside Track, The Complete History of Science, How It Became Deadly on the Watch of the, of the One World Order and How to Sidestep Their Activities, okay? I put this book together because I had a tremendous amount of years of experience working with a lot of different subcontractors to the CIA and subcontractors and contractors of a lot of devices that are affecting your lives today in a great powerful way. It goes back all the way, the, 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 the history part of it goes back to 8,000 years to Samaria, but it gets very detailed when we start getting up to the turn of the century where classic physics started to embrace quantum physics. How many of you have, are familiar somewhat with the term quantum entanglement and quantum physics? Okay, a lot of you, good. It takes time to, it takes me a little while to um, uh, get to know everybody. A lot of you, I know, I see a lot of familiar faces here. Anyway, to make a long story short, there was a lot of research around the 50s to control human beings. And devices were developed over the years during that time, like um, Dr. Mendoza, people like that. And they started controlling animals, monkeys, first of all, with probes in the brain. Later on, they started doing it by remote control. And finally, it became done, uh, they started doing it with satellites and controlling people that way. There's terms like radar. How many of you are familiar with what a radar flashlight is? Okay. It's in here. The websites are all in here. A radar flashlight allows the authorities to come up to your house, approach within a couple hundred feet, and look through your walls and see what you're doing. Okay. That's a radar flashlight. There are also a, a, a electronic uh, harassment devices. There's acoustic uh, devices that developed in uh, San Diego, which have currently been used against these pirating of ships over in uh, Samalaya, in, over in, in uh, West Africa, where the piracy takes place. A lot of things have been developed, and a lot of things are used today. There is a system that was installed um, a while back in subways. The first one was uh, installed in London, England with 50,000 transmitters, and then one was installed in New York. And if you flash back a few years ago, you'll probably remember all the strange subway incidents that were taking place. Remember that? Uh, all, uh, okay, so that was part of the technology. Today, uh, in 1991, we launched the um, STS satellite systems involving a project called MISTI. Originally, the satellite program started with Richard Bissell back in the, when he was director of the CIA when he tried to develop the Corona satellite program to spy on Russia. But unfortunately, we had to use the U-2 because we couldn't get these uh, Coronas in orbit. And most of the ships blew up on the ground and then the ones that did get in orbit, if you remember far enough back, they used to fly airplanes out and they'd come down by parachute and they used to try to catch them in midair. If you remember, that was about 30 years ago, 35 years ago. After that system was developed, the HARP program started coming online with the Clementine satellites, which were then designed to x-ray uh, anywhere on, on the other side of the Earth up to a half a mile to a mile underground. So this became a real annoyance. In 1991, we launched the first MISTI series satellites. 
um, STS-38 uh, on the Atlantis shuttle. And these were pl put into place to monitor people. Before that was, as this was taking place, they began to um, develop the program to monitor your phones, Project Echelon, and your computers. And, and as a result of that, uh, and along with these, uh, a device like the radar flashlight, we began to develop fingerprints of human behavior and how people work. The human brain uh, has a processing uh, rate of about 5,000 bits per second. And when they monitor you, especially visually, through your house, which even though you're not aware of it, and they're gone by the thousands now, this is being done to, they watch you, for example, read. When you read, you make uh, muscular contractions, which along with the t telephone uh, message sounds from Echelon, is married with other studies that are made, or measurements, which can be done in a variety of ways. And this is all combined to produce a footprint of your personality, frequencies, et cetera, et cetera.